Welcome back, everyone, to the Hall of Champions final showdown here on Arena. Now, remember, these squads have been banging on each other for more than just Team Pride. They're also vying for the Xbox Microsoft Prize package. It all comes down to this. Our own version of Game 7 for all the marbles. It's America's Army Special Forces, and it's played on Atlanta Cyberspace's VR pods. Let's go to Sergeant Hansen with the briefing on today's all-important mission. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Sergeant First Class Hansen. I'm here to brief you on the combat search and rescue mission. We have one Black Hawk helicopter that's been downed by enemy forces. A UAV has identified one crew member as surviving the crash. Your mission as an ODA, Operational Detachment, is to infiltrate this high desert compound to the crash site. At the crash site, you're to retrieve data and destroy the helicopter. Then you're to continue on through the remainder of the compound, make link up with the downed crew member. You are not to fire upon anyone unless they prove themselves hostile to your mission. Are there any questions? No, no sir. sir. Good luck. Team UMM was chosen to go first, and the team is suiting up right now. And once these virtual soldiers are ready, they'll have 10 minutes to complete the mission. Now, our players will be immersed in the ultra-realistic environment of America's Army Special Forces through the use of Atlantis Cyberspace's virtual reality pods. Well, it looks like Team UMM is locked and loaded, so let's see how they do. And first up, it's UMM, and they're underway. With Tack as the captain, they need to attempt to find the Black Hawk helicopter, disable it retrieve the sensitive data, find the pilots. UMM remaining relatively quiet here early on in America's Army. Attack on an island out there. Is in a firefight all alone, no member of his teammates to back him up. I got two down. Lucky for him, he was able to take down a member of the op force. Generally, Lee, when teams break up like this and don't have communication, members tend to get taken out. Got him, got him. And a little rough go of it here early for UMM. Space Monkey in a firefight right now with a member of the opposing force. Hack has made it to the Black Hawk helicopter. I think they might have dodged an early bullet. Turn around, Tack, turn around. That's got to be one of the fastest times we've ever had any team perform this operation. Now Space Monkey approaches. A little bit of confusion on whether they've retrieved the data or not. Lee, not a ton of communication coming out of Team UMM. I'm surprised. Apparently the data has been retrieved. Is everybody clear? And they make sure everybody is clear from the Black Hawk as Space Monkey lets an RPG fly. He may have been too close for that RPG to arm, though, Lee, as it did not detonate. And Space Monkey says, I have one more shell, let me do it. Taking aim at that RPG. And there it is, Space Monkey. And these guys have already disabled the Black Hawk helicopter, retrieved the data. All four of them are alive. At a record pace. I mean, these guys are flying through the map. Wait for Jess, wait for Jess. Team UMM staking their claim to the arena championship. Tactical frostbite leading his squad around the corner. Not bothering to lean around any doors or clear any rooms, Lee. They are just balls to the wall, searching for this VIP. And technical frostbite, climbing those stairs. Only has one side covered as he opens up fire on a member of the opposing force. I'm down, I'm down. As tactical frostbite enters the room with the VIP and doesn't check his six, Lee. Tack, where are you? A member of the opposing force crouched in the corner and mows down another one. Tactical frostbite and space monkey both taken out by the same member of the opposing force. Oh. A sloppy performance by UMM. And Ken, we were starting to feel a little foolish because we were commenting on Team UMM's lack of communication, but later on, we were justified because the wheels came off. That's right, Lee. Lack of communication and at the end, lack of strategy as they enter the room with the VIP and all got taken down. Now, zombies strapping in. Let's see who becomes the ultimate arena champion. And Kevin, it's all come down to this. Zombie in hot pursuit of that helicopter. All right, hey, I'm going straight. And Team Zombie having had actual military experience, Lee, I expect them to shine here in America's Army. The communication between these guys is much better than it was for Team UMM. And right away, Ray peeks around a corner, spots a member of the opposing force, and takes him out. He just banged him up, Lee. Go, go, okay, follow me, John. And Luce runs outside using that wall for cover, leans around a corner. Somebody watered that friggin' tree already. Fusion GTX covering from the rear. Yes, I'm still behind you. The objectives are fairly simple, but it's a lot easier in theory than it is in practice. Wait, wait, there's a guy on the right. And Luce has spotted the Black Hawk and a member of the opposing force, and he opens fire. Luce crouches down, lets his teammates know to give him some cover fire as Judge Man provides just that. And like a dog with Tourette's, one of the members calling. Hey, roof, roof, roof. And sadly for Team Zombie, one of their members gets taken out. The Judge Man. I believe, with that helicopter in sight, a little frustration now, and a dead teammate. And Luce finally advances his team out of cover and towards the Blackhawk. Fusion GTX, the middleman here, hovers the team's flank. I'm moving. Ray has extracted the data. And now Ray is going to be the one to harness that launcher from his shoulder. No, no, move up to me, move up to me. You see me? And Luce calling for his teammates to move up. They'll have to destroy the Blackhawk now, and with a well-placed RPG, and Ray there it is. has destroyed the Blackhawk. And now the only thing remaining 
If you find that pilot, Luce moves up the ladder, gives the all clear for Fusion GTX. Points here in these late moments of this round are going to make the difference, Kevin. What the hell is that? As Luce enters a room and a firefight ensues in close quarters. Again, that pilot, elusive, they can't seem to find him. This is where we saw Team UMM lose everything. Going in, check corners, check corners. And Luce checks the room, checking all corners, finds a member of the opposing force, the same member that managed to take out UMM Lee as Ray goes up to secure the VIP, and they have done just that. That's what I'm talking about, damn it. Wow. And in spectacular fashion, Luce and his teammates moved as a tight unit and avoided the mistake that cost UMM the round as they rescued the VIP, Kevin. That's right, Lee, and this round goes to Team Zombie. But earlier in Unreal Tournament 2003, UMM was banging around a bowling ball, knocking Zombie around for the win and the two points. And even though Zombie won the console point, Team UMM took the bonus for the highest total team score, which means that today's MVP will decide the winner, Lee. It was a tight race. But as flag snagging in UT 2003 and leadership with America's Army Special Forces secures the MVP award for... Loose for Team Zombie, our ultimate arena champion. Let's go to Stacy with the winners. Thanks, guys. Congratulations, Loose. The title, the win, MVP. What are you going to do? I'm going to get wasted. Yeah. I told you they were partiers. Now, in America's Army, you guys really clinched a victory there. Do you think your collective military experience gave you guys an edge? I really think it helped a lot. Uh, we went through the basic motions right before we jumped on the VR pods, and it just gave us the edge, I think. We worked really well as a unit. You guys definitely did. They banged one out, everyone. Here they are, Team Zombie, Arena's new ultimate champion. Lee, back to you. UMM was a formidable opponent, but in the end, Zombie proved it had the stuff of champions. And now, they also have the Microsoft Xbox prize package. Congratulations, guys. But for Kevin Pereira, Stacey Barcelona, I'm Lee Rearman. We'll see you next time when we begin our next quest for the ultimate champion right here on Arena. Well, now that you've seen the competition, we want to see if you've got the stuff of champions. So if you're at least 18 years of age and live in or near the Los Angeles area, then throw your hat into the ring by going to our website. Visit us at g4tv.com slash arena and sign up to compete on the show that turns multiplayer video games into a competitive sport. And we will see you in the arena.